Hi everyone, welcome to programming tutorial. Today we will continue uh, exercises with while loop. Uh, my next exercise will be to print numbers from A to B. Uh, for that thing we're going to introduce firstly two variables. As I said, to print numbers from A to B, which requires two variables, I'm going to introduce integer A and B. And then we will ask this one from the user. I can write here a command for the user as an option optional if you want you can write this enter two numbers I'm going to say don't forget to put semicolon in the end and then uh, I'm going to write here C in A and B some some guys put the put here semicolon it's not going to work you have to put the signs uh, and then B and now I'm going to run the while loop and uh, now let's think together from A to B the numbers will be printed which means A will be the smaller number and the B is going to be bigger number and I can run this condition if A while A less than B I'm going to ask him C out print A okay and I'd like to put also oops I'd like to put also a semicolon which gonna make a, a space between numbers and of course I'm going to increase the number one by one by using this increment statement because let's say I'm going to ask the to print numbers from 5 to 10 and here uh, it will be condition will be if the number less than 5 I mean 10 as long as the, the number less than 10 is going to keep printing this number the A was standing for 5 and then it will be increased uh, by this increment to 6 and it will be 7, 8, 9 and it's going to be 10 but the 10 will not be supported by the condition here it won't print it but if you want also include the B uh, in this interval you have to put here one equation sign and it will also consider the B in the uh, printing part alright let's try this let's try two numbers together I'm going to type there 5 and space 10. So as you see it printed 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it, you can also write the big numbers there. Let's say I want to write there between 100 and 200. And it will print all the numbers between 100 and 200. That was it. Let's continue next question. And the next question, uh, I'd like to write a program which prints only odd numbers. Uh, for that program, I'm going to introduce uh, one variable for uh, the input that's going to user put, and another variable will be counter. and the counter will start from zero and the user will enter the the value C in A now I'm going to run my while loop here and my condition will be as long as the counter less than A okay it's going to keep executing this program let's write here C out uh, counter. I think you remember this uh, the codes from the previous lessons and after that I'm going to introduce counter one by one by this increment statement if you don't use this you're going to put this into infinite loop and it won't never stop and um, let's run this program together Uh, right there 10 and it will 
print till 10. If you want to include also 10, you have to put this side. But I don't want him to print all the numbers. I want from him to print only the odd numbers. For that reason, I'm going to run here one if condition. It's going to stand like a filter. All the numbers will be produced in the while, let's say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by these increment statements. And But I don't want all of them to be printed. I want only the odd numbers to be printed. For that thing, I'm going to put their filter. That's going to work with Oh, if statement I'll write here the the thing counter if counter percentage if you remember the these models how to find the remainder of numbers if the number divided by two and the remainder equals one and it will be equal to one odd number and if it works if you find any number which is divisible not divisible by two and also uh, the odd number I want from you to print it okay so the while the number produces the each number between this interval it won't uh, let print all of them but the filter this if condition will allow to print only numbers are odd and it will be printed by this program let's see it together Let's say I'm going to write there 10 and it will print only the odd numbers as we see here 15 until 15 all the odd numbers will be printed by this exercise we found the all the odd numbers you can also find the all even numbers between 0 and this a uh, all you have to change is uh, uh, to write here 0 instead 1 uh, because all the even numbers are divisible by 2 and this e equation will return us all the uh, even numbers let's see together I'm going to write there 22 and it will print us all the even numbers okay dear programmers our tutorial has finished here and I will continue doing more exercise in the following tutorial thanks for watching bye bye